السلام عليكم ورحمة الله بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله This is Muhannad recording for the daily reminder and we continue our series Don't belittle the little Don't belittle any good deed that you do to a Muslim brother or sister There is a story that affected me a lot in my early years and it is one of those dear stories that it's part of you It's a story named قصة السمكة narrated in the great book من وحي القلم for the author مصطفى صادق الرافعي The story talks about a person with the name Abu Nasr al-Sayyad Abu Nasr al-Sayyad one time he narrates the story and says he was extremely poor and he was looking for a job, looking for anything that can feed his family so he goes to his sheikh, to his teacher Ahmed bin Miskin who was one of the tabi'een one of the generation that witnessed and were taught by the Sahaba, by the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So he goes to the Shaykh and he tells him, Ya Shaykh, I really need to feed my family. And he says, pray to rik'at to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and go to the sea and let me help you. And they go to the sea and with his fishing net, he catches a huge fish. He takes that fish, buys it, sells it, and buys two plate, one full of meat and the other plate full of sweet. He goes to the Sheikh, to Ahmed bin Miskin, to thank him. And he wants to give him one of the plates. And Ahmed bin Miskin tells him a very profound statement. He said, Ya Aba Nasr al-Sayyad, Law at'amna anfusana hadha, ma kharajat samaka. Had I helped you for the sake of getting any worldly benefit, the fish would have never come out. Allah would have never put barakah in my advice and in your day. Go and feed your family. Abu Nasr al-Sayyad, takes the food to his family and on his way home he sees that woman with her child she's a widow and the son is an orphan and they immediately look at the plate and he says wallahi i forgot about the hunger of my family and i felt like paradise came down on earth offering herself to anyone who's gonna feed that mom and her baby so he gave them he gave them the food and goes home, but the shaitan starts telling him, you know, he regret what he did. And he's worried and concerned, how can I feed my family? Then somebody knocks on the door, where is Abu Nasr al-Sayyad? I borrowed money from your father 20 years ago, and I've been looking for him for a while. I heard that he has died, and you're the only son, here's your money back. And he says immediately, became extremely rich. He goes to the family, he donates a lot of money for them, and became one of the wealthy men of the city. And he says, I started donating a lot of money to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But there was a little problem. I became a little bit, I had overconfidence in my good deeds. And I felt that Allah will accept all of my deeds. And I started showing off, and I cared about the quantity, not the quality of my charity, of my sadaqah. So subhanAllah, one night, he saw a dream, that the day of judgment started. And he saw people, creation, masses of people, resurrected in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And angels were calling everyone, come and present your deeds in front of Allah, the Almighty. And it was his turn, and he had some bad deeds, and then he was hopeful that he has tons of hasanat, tons of charity. So the charity was put inside of good deeds, but it weighed nothing. Piles of hasanat were like piles of cotton with no value, with no result. Why? Because they were mixed with some impure intention, with insincerity, with throwing off, with, with him trying to impress others with his charity. And he was disappointed. And the angel started asking, Hal baqiya lahu shay? Does he have anything remaining? And then they bring the two plates that he donated to the woman. And he's like, what are they going to do for me? But those plates are put and then they do some motion. They balance out, but he still needs more hasanat. Then, subhanallah, the tears coming from the eyes of the woman and the smile on the face of the baby, they become physical objects that will be put on the side of the good deeds and the tears will become like a big pond. And from that pond, a fish comes out and the fish will be on the side of good deeds and the angel will tell him لَقَدْ نَجَى لَقَدْ نَجَى 
he made it. He made it. And then uh, Abu Nasr al-Sayyad wakes up and says, لو أطعمنا أنفسنا هذا ما خرجت سمكة. Had we done any of these deeds for any worldly benefit, the fish would have never come out. At the end of this talk, try to do something positive and tangible and physical for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Call your cousin or a family member and tell them that you love them for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Get together with your friends and go clean up the masjid or go and help a family who might be in need. Share this video with your circles and maybe this will help someone who might need this advice. At the end of the day, don't belittle any good deed that you do and make sure that that deed is sincere for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is your brother Muhammad Hakim. Jazakumullah khayran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.